Alright, hi everyone. Um, I wanted to do a video on how to detangle hair. Um, for myself, there are a lot of videos out there about detangling hair. But I just wanted to show you my technique. Um, I don't detangle, I probably should, but I don't detangle my hair sometimes for three or four weeks. That's why I usually have a lot of hair that usually may come out. Um, in the beginning, I was alarmed about it because I was like, oh my gosh, all my hair is coming out. But I realized that, you know, the longer you wait to, de to detangle, the more that is going to come out in your hair. So that's only natural. So what I have done, um, I just stepped out of the shower. Um, I did um, three sections of my hair. I detangled it already. I don't know if you guys can see it. Hopefully you can. I'll take the clip out. I detangled the back and I detangled this side. Um, and now the the only part I have to detangle is this side. So um, what I do is um, in the beginning I did not know what to use. I really didn't know what to use on my hair um, as far as detangling. Um, do I finger comb? Do I you know use a comb do I use a brush um, and what I found is I've you I use a comb I usually use a comb a little thinner than this um, as far as the um, but I can't find it right now unfortunately but this is basically a shampoo or um, or hair comb to use to detangle because it has wide teeth and then I also use a Denman brush they have different type of Denman brushes this one is kind of space kind of wide, so I find that to be best for my hair. Um, the other kind seem to be very, very close. Um, it's just really point of preference. I, I particularly like this to, to detangle. But anyway, what I do is I start with um, I start with putting conditioner in my hair. I like using um, a light conditioner. Um, right now I have two different kind of conditioners in my hair. The first one I have is um, the DPR-11 by, um, oh gosh, I can't think of it right now. And the other one is Suave Coconut, so I use both of those. And I usually, of course, start at the ends. Probably it's not a good idea to make these sections this big, but... I'm really pressed for time and I have to hurry up and do this because my hair is getting, when it hasn't been detangled, it starts getting really, um, starts getting really, um, like clumpy and product buildup and all that other stuff. So, um, as you can tell, I'm trying to get through it. I'm trying to get through it here. So. And also, when I'm in the shower, I periodically wet it. I'm sorry. I periodically wet it, and that's to keep it um, to keep it going through. So I just wet it at the sink. So that's that, and I use the comb. Then I follow up with my dimming brush to just make sure. And see how nice and smooth it is. I'm like, oh, hopefully you guys can see me here. But it's nice and smooth. And that's it. And then all I do, I take a clamp. And I clamp it up because now that is also detangled as well. So now my whole head is detangled. It probably took me most 10 to 15 minutes um, to detangle. If I had the time, I would really like go a little bit more in detail, but I just don't have that time. So hopefully this will help you guys with detangling your hair. Um, definitely find out what's best for you, whether it's finger combing. Take it in different sections, finger comb it through your hair. Whether it's finger combing, using a comb alone, using the Denman brush, or maybe even using both. So it, it's not a science. You know, you just have to, you have to try and test out what's good for you. So hopefully this will help you guys. Thanks. Bye.